What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with a team that I believe a lot of people have been wanting to see. We got Alolan Raichu over here. Let's get it. He looks so sick and he's going to be pairing up well with this Life Orb Pinchurchin. So if you guys are hyped, you guys already know the deal. Smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. You can stay up to date with all my content, especially we got Paper Mario, the Origami King. Coming out this Friday, we're going to be doing a playthrough on that. So hopefully you guys are hyped and ready to see that playthrough. But Rocking out on this team, like I said, we got Life Orb Pinchurchin, and his ability is Electric Surge, so we can set that surge right away with Rising Voltage, which is a 70 base power electric move, which is doubled in the surge. So, 140 base power if we get that out with the electric terrain going. That could be deadly. We got Scald over here, Sucker Punch, both coverage moves, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. And then we got nice little Protect. And then we got our boy, Surge Surfer Raichu, and that is his ability. His ability will double his speed in electric terrain. That is awesome. He's also Choice Specs with Rising Voltage as well. Surf, Expanding Force because he is psychic that is awesome so that's stat damage as well and volts which that is going to be amazing and tons of fun to use then we got ndd to set the psychic surge that works well with the alone one raichu you guys already know the move set with on that thing it's been pretty normal ever since the alive armor came out it's been expanding force follow me helping hand but this one does have light screen this one does have light screen so we can set that up if we do want it it has psychic surge as its ability obviously and safety goggles we also got Poltsky over here pretty basic move set with him phantom force dragon darts Fly, Dragon Dance, there we go, Weakness Policy, Clear Body, Volcarona, another new Isle of Armor Pokemon, which I've been loving, Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz, Heat Wave, and Giga Dream, also moves that right there, if you set up that Quiver Dance, you can roll out and do absolute work, has that Charty Berry, so it doesn't get one tap by Rock Moves, because it's it's pretty, it's pretty poo poo to uh, Rock Moves, Rock Moves just dumps on it right away, so that Berry's gonna help us out just a good bit, then in the final spot, we got our boy Urshifu over here with Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Ice Punch, and U-Turn is also Choice Bandit, so it can do a little bit more damage, but we got to choice it into one move. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. I saw this team, I was like, yo, let's get it, yo. Alone and Raichu, everyone's going to love it. I cannot wait to play it, and hopefully we can get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Lapras team right here, G-Max Lapras. Obviously, with that Indeedee, Sylveon, Torkoal, uh, Rotom, Wash, and Snorlax. So he doesn't have a Trick Room. Does have a Trick Room setter? Unless, can Rotom set Trick Rooms? I'm not too sure, because only male Ndidi can set Trick Room, and that is female Ndidi. But our uh, our Pinchurchin is 18 speed. He is 18 speed, so we can absolutely roll out with that and not even worry about um his Surge getting off before hours. So I'm going to lead Pinchurchin, and I think Raichu just get rolling with the Pokemon that we do want to show off in today's video. We're going to lead them too. I feel like they can just uh, control a lot of this match. And then if he does change to the Psychic Surge, I have Expanding Force. So it's like a win-win for me. I can roll out strong. Um, And then who else do I go into? Definitely Pult. Definitely Pult coming clutch later in the match. And then I'm thinking Urshifu. I'm thinking Urshifu right here. He's got the water. He's got the fighting. Fighting will be do work around here. Hmm. I would choice ban him probably into something. Hmm. What do I go into? Yeah, we're going to go Urshifu. I kind of want to go Volcarona, though. Now nah, we're going to go Urshifu. Let's get Urshifu rolling up in here as our fourth and final mod. Let's get it. Guys, you want to catch more content from me? You guys already know the deal. Hit that link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. I stream three to four days every single week. It's been a little bit slow. I've been missing days, but trust me, I'm going to be get, getting back on that grind very, very soon. So just uh, be patient with me. And thank you guys so much for checking out my content and all that good stuff. Because the Twitch is just like extra content. You know what I'm saying? This is YouTube is my main, my main source of content. But yo, I'm so hyped for Origami King, dude. I said that in the beginning of the video. Like, it is going to be so much fun. Hopefully, you guys are just as hyped as well. And come hang out and uh, watch that playthrough. It's going to be tons of fun. Like, I cannot wait. I I'm a big fan of Paper Mario games. Especially, I really did like Color Splash. That was the last one for the Wii U. And a lot of people were like, eh, it was all right. I actually really did enjoy it. So, I think I'm going to enjoy this game just as well. But he goes Rotom and uh, Lapras. I'm totally fine. Do I Dynamax? Does he have any? He has nobody with Lightning Rod, first of all. He has nobody with Lightning Rod. Let me check out his Pokemans. Yeah, nobody, nobody learns Lightning Rod, so I think it's safe to just go into, uh... I say we Dynamax Pinchurchin, to be honest. We have Life Orb. I say we Dynamax Pinchurchin, and we keep a Lolan Raichu just chilling, just in case he swaps out, and I can go into Expanding Forces. Yeah, I, th I say we do that. We go into a big old Max Lightning right here, or I can just, uh, not even Dynamax. This is 140. This is 140 as well. You know what? I am going to Dynamax. Oh, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to, uh, Dynamax our Raichu here. A little Max Lightning over on that side. Because if he does swap, Max Lightning's just coming in here. Which is totally fine. Max Lightning will just come in here and change up the uh, terrain once again. So it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. So I'm just going to keep it this way and we're going to Dynamax. Big old alone Raichu. Look at him. He's surfing on his tail. That is like the coolest thing. I think that works so well, especially when Sun and Moon did come out. 
because you know they're, they're all you're on islands and beaches it's just like yo this dude's gonna surf it up flappers protect he does that hunko junko that hunko junko a little biscuit nice protect coming out from him max lightning still gonna pop off do a nice amount of damage dude how much damage i did even through the protect not bad i knew we should have i knew we should have went to right and left here Every time's gonna use a trick that's totally fine you can take my life orb little biscuit and what are you gonna give me oh you take my choice specs oh no he gives choice specs over to pinch urchin okay that's totally fine I'm gonna give choice specs over to pinch urchin and hmm I said we just rising voltage over on him. And that's choice specs now. I'll take that all day. And then do I lightning again? Yeah, I'm gonna lightning over on the Rotom. Do some damage on him. See how that goes. But I think uh, rising voltage should take out that Lapras. No problem. Unless he Dynamaxes. So we'll see. Hmm. I don't even know which one's gonna be better. The choice specs or the life orb. I feel like they're both very, very good. This is gonna be base 140 with the choice specs now. You know, which all Lapras, which is totally fine. Are you gonna go into who's, who's really gonna eat this up too well? Snorlax, okay, I'm, I'm fine with Snorlax. I'm not too worried about him. That thing's shiny, but it doesn't even look shiny. Max Lightning coming out here on the road time. What you want, dog? Oh, nice damage. Not bad damage at all. Willow is coming out here. Oh, get out of my face. Pin Church and said, Yeah, yeet, yo. Dodge that. Rise of Voltage coming out. Hey. Get him. Let's go. Doing some damage. we doing some big old electric damage here. Hmm. I'm gonna actually a uh, sucker punch. Oh no, we're choice spec, bruh. Right, I'm just gonna go rise and voltage in that. And do I set the rain? Nah, rain will probably help him more so. Okay, I'm gonna go for. Do I set the other terrain? Do I set this terrain? Hmm. I don't know. I really do like being doubled up here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep this train. I'm gonna keep this train. If he does have a uh, Ndidi, that's totally fine. Oh, he's got a Dynamax here. Oh, he's Dynamax and Strulax. He's gotta be guarding, right? He's got to be guarding, right? He's going to Dynamax Snorlax. G-Max up on the Snorlax because you know he, he has a very ready. Oh, this is not G-Max. Just regular. I feel like he's like, all right, we got to go into this because he cannot go into Lapras knowing that I have double electric popping out here. And I do have Urshfu in the back that could choice band close combat up. We're really looking good. It's not, we're not looking bad. Let's go Lightning coming out. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey, baby. Boop. Doing a little bit of damage. This dude eating up pretty strong. And Hydro Pump coming up against that Pinchurchin. That's fine. Pinchurchin will eat that up. Just dandy candy. Eat. And be able to finish off that Rotom with the... Oh, dude. If that thing would have uh, took itself out, that would have been nice. Unless he is able to get off a Quake. That's a little scary. You have to Pinchurchin. Okay. I'm down with that. I'm totally cool with that. You can take out Pinchurchin. We're fine with that. And then I'm just going to go into Urshifu. Urshi, Urshifu. Actually, who do I think is really faster? Well, Raichu's going to outspeed everybody. So I can just uh, take out the Rotom with the Raichu. And then bring out Urshfu and just choice ban into a close combat and just start doing damage. Because if I can get rid of that uh that Snorlax here, that could be big, and then I can go into a close combat onto the Lapras as well. So we're not looking bad here. Alone Raichu coming up big. He's looking dope so Look at him. He looks so cool. Love how he has the what's called typing on him as well. I really like the Do I Volt Switch out? What are my stats on this thing? Nothing. We have nothing. Okay, so no need to Volt Switch out. How much is expanding force? Or I could just rise in voltage. Is 100% accurate or 100 accuracy. But yeah, Raichu is so cool. He look. I love the how they gave him the psychic type. I thought he was. He kind of looks like he, he should be fairy, but psychic works just as well. Psychic and fairy are both very very strong typings. But Rotom's gone. We get rid of him because I didn't want him uh, doing anything to my Urshifu. My Urshifu can get off this nice big old close combat and maybe take out. Let's go. Let's go. Big KO coming in with Urshifu there. We'll drop our defense and all that. But it comes down to. Uh, did we take out him on yet? I think we. Did. I think it just comes down to Lapras, which my Urshifu can just handle with the close combat. I know we're going to be able to outspeed. And I have my Raichu here with Rising Voltage for 140 and Stab and these choice specs. Like, come on, man. Come on. What do you want? Oh, he does have Sylveon. He does have Sylveon. I'm not too worried about that. Again, not too worried about that. I'm going to drop a Rising Voltage in that. and I'm... I think this thing actually might protect. Do we think Lapras is going to protect here? I can totally see it happening. But I'm going to still going to drop a close combat into it. And I am going to go Rising Bolt to Dribble on Sylveon. Let's see what you do, fool. What are you going to do? I know my Raichu is fastest with a Surge Surfer. That is a cool ability. I didn't know that was an ability until I saw this. I think maybe only Raichu might know that. That's like Surfing's his like signature thing. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So Sylveon actually protects. I'm cool with it. Are you double protecting? Because I think Lapras would go down here to a close combat. He's not. He's not double protecting. I think Lapras will go down to this close combat. 
Stab and Choice Bandit. Get him. Big old damage move. See you later, Lapras. Bad play by you, big dog. We're going to be able to uh, actually clean this one up just fine. That's the best part about close combat, is you can use it as many times as you want, but your defense drops, not like your attack. It's a hard hit move. Like, usually like Draco Meteor, you can only use once because it drops your special attack so low. Close combat, you can use multiple times if you're still alive, which is amazing. So, we gotta go close combat, and we gotta go Rising Voltage again. Oh, uh, the Surge ended, so it's only 70 base power now. But is he gonna cancel? He does not cancel. Get him! Dang, yo, that still did a heaping amount of damage. God dang! God dang, Choice Band coming up big, but Urshifu's gonna go down to this uh, Hyper Voice. This thing does have a Citrus Berry. Okay. Citrus Berry is popping. Rising Voltage might not actually KO. Choice Spec. Uh, no. Yeah, see, I was gonna say, this thing's uh, Special Defense Tank. Hyper Voice comes out, and it's going to definitely take out Urshifu because he's minus three on Special Defense. And then we just bring in Pulse Speed, which can uh, one tap this thing up with a Phantom Force. Easy work. Easy work. Easy work. Which we both outspeed as well. I'm definitely dropping Phantom Force. Every voice will take me out, but Phantom Force will hit through protects and all that stuff and be able to pick up this KO. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We have the Surge, this this next one will take out, but we're only gonna bring him down to about red. Or a little bit before red. The Phantom Force popping. Like I said, it's no problem. Rise and voltage, yo! Oh, rise and voltage just KO'd. We crit that? That one seemed like it did more. Okay, I'm down with it. GG, let's go. Bound number one in the bag. We are 1-0 oh to start off this video. Let's get it, guys. Second battle on its way. This guy has Rillaboom, Mel and Didi, Cinderace, Urshifu, Gudra, and big old Titar over here. Oh, this seems looking tough. This seems looking very, very strong, especially with that Rillaboom, Cinderace, and that Titar is just such a big threat. Um, who should I go into? Who should I lead? I definitely want to bring Urshifu somewhere along the lines. I feel like Urshifu can be nice and big. Something to take out that Titar because everyone knows Titars. Oh, rather annoying. Rather annoying. I think I go Raichu and do I just stay Raichu? Raichu Pinchurchin? Kind of cancel out any single surge. I could do that. Let's go Pinchurchin and Raichu. This Pinchurchin obviously is slow as so we can cancel out any single surge that he wants to bring. If he wants to bring Psychic or uh, Grass right off the rip, that's fine by me. Bring Urshifu in that back end and then Polt. And then Poltski maybe? Poltski's fast. He can do work. Yeah, let's go Polt. Bolt is like one of those Pokemons that you can never go wrong with. Like, it's just like, alright, we have an extra slot. Bring Dragapult. He's fast. He hits hard. You know him. He can dodge moves as well. He can D dance up. He can do a lot. So, we're going to roll out with him as our fourth and final mod. But 1 0 so far. We got to show off that alone, right? It was pretty dope. We did some work with him. But, dude, I cannot. Like, I don't know why. Like, I've just been like, usually when like a new game is coming out, like, like Paper Mario, it's not that big. But, like, the, when the week does come, I'm like, bro, like, I'm hyped for it. Like, I've been watching videos on it. I'm like, yo, I'm ready to go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Especially because, like, N Nintendo hasn't really released a game yet in a while. Like, last big game was probably Sword and Shield. And then they released uh, Mystery Dungeon, but that was just, like, a remake. So, this one's going to be cool. It's going to be uh, tons of fun. But we do take off that Psychic Surge because we don't want it. We said, nah, son, get out of my face. And now we do outspeed that Raichu. Or not the Raichu. We outspeed that Cinderace. And I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. I'm choice, though. I think I'm just max landing on it. I'm actually going to double up onto it, to be honest with you. I'm definitely going to double up in this scenario, so I'm not dealing with him. I think I actually sucker punch it, <laughs> to be honest. Nah, he actually might. No, he cannot go for follow me, which is huge. I thought I'd just go into a uh, doubling up on this thing, because he just poses such a big threat. It's that rain. I do outspeed it. I probably do outspeed this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the geyser. I am gonna go for the geyser. We definitely outspeed it in the search. So I'm hoping we can, we can just, just get rid of this thing right off the bat. I don't know what would have been more. The super effective or the stab max lightning in the search. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But so we're doubling up into it for a reason. We can set the rain that can actually help us out later. Because I don't think he has any water mons. Besides maybe Gujo with hydration, that could be a little tough. He's gonna Dynamax this in. But the big part about the rain is 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 if he is going for a fire move, the water is gonna neglect some of that damage. So that's gonna be cool. But he does go Cinderace. He does go Cinderace. Because what's called is totally going to outspeed 100%. 100% that Raichu is going to outspeed. And if he does want to set the church room with that, uh, with that Indeedee, my pin church is the slowest on the field. There goes our geyser. Yeah, yeah, baby. Get him. Get him. Do work on him. Do him dirty. Go ahead. There we go. Nice big damage. We got that rain going for my squad now. 
Might a uh, live bureau change, which is probably what he's going to do. That's looking a little scary. Oh, and now he goes for the fireball. Thank the Lord. He goes for the fireball. That is lovely. He goes on my Raichu, and that rain's coming up big for us. Thank you, Rain. Thank you, Rain. I really love you. And this thing's going to go for an expanding force over on Pinch Urchin. Yep, over on Pinch Urchin. Eat it up, buddy. Pinch Urchin eats up just fine. Rise of Voltage might be able to KO here. I love you, Pinch Urchin. I love you, dude. Coming up big, dude. Coming up big. And then I honestly might just go into a Sucker Punch here just to get damage off before Pinch Urchin does leave the, the playing field. He's on 34 HP. Someone's going to hit him. He is the slowest. He is the slowest. So Rain got all this going. He actually, I think he's going to bring in Rollboom. Yeah. Saw that one coming all day. Saw that coming all day, and I still think Raichu will outspeed here. But I think he does go into a grassy line over on the Pinchy. Over on the Pinchy Poo. And again, I'd rather change up the terrain. So let's go into Sucker Punch over on you. And then just uh, send the lightning. Send the lightning over on Ndidi. He's definitely going to go over into a grassy line. He does have a Dynamax here. And along Raichu, it's going to be faster than that Rillaboom and Ndidi, so... Unless, like I said, Grassy Guy just come out. So definitely that rain was a good call. Help this out. That Cinderace, maybe. It would have been close. It would have been close. He might have been able to take on my right with that. Because that's a 160 base power move. Gonna withdraw in DD. He gone into Guzra. Urshifu. Okay. Okay, I'm down with Urshifu. Is this water Urshifu? Tucker Punch comes out. Nothing happens. That's fine. Oh, he does not even go for a grass guy. Max Lightning coming out here. Can we dump on this Urshifu? Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my face. This thing's Sash, though. He's Sash, though. I'm cool. I got Pult in the back. He's going to be able to outspeed everything. And we change up this terrain. But he's he kind of got rid of that uh, Ndidi just to uh, just to bring back his terrain and get that rolling. Knockoff comes out here. He's going to take off my specs and dump on me in one shot. That thing's so strong. I think it's ridiculously strong. Bam, bam, da, 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 da. I think he thinks we're gonna go for another sucker punch, so I might not. And he might actually uh swap out Urshfu. But do I get my pole? And I could fly up. Mm. I could go Urshfu and go into an ice punch. That thing's such a big threat. It's so annoying, that real boom. I think what is gonna be my best option here? I think we save Urshfu. I really do think we save Urshfu. See what we can do later. Pult coming out. Let's get it. He's going to definitely uh, knock off my pult, so I think I'm going to fly up and dodge that Rillaboom. And drop a Rising Voltage into whatever comes into the slot. But I really do think he's going to try to knock off my weakness policy, but that doesn't do anything. Does that do something? What happens? Wait a minute. I'm trying to think. I think he just knocks it off. I don't think it will trigger it. I think that's how it goes. I think if he knocks it off, even though it is super effective, it will not trigger it. It just takes it off. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Well, this is a close battle for a second battle, but like I said, the Willowboom Incinerace are just so strong, and it, it's kind of showing right here. Like, if we didn't uh, set that water and dump on that Incinerace right off the bat, he would have been running, and Rollboom's just chilling here. Just absolutely dominating out here. Just such a tough Pokemon to play up against, and he's going to take uh, Surge Control soon. Yep, here it is. I saw that coming all day. Back in Ndidi. Just to change up the terrain. Rising Voltage won't do as much, but still, it will do a decent amount, because we are Life Orb here. But Polsky should go first. Get it, Polsky. We flying up here because he's definitely going for that knockoff. He's definitely going for that knockoff. No way you're going for my Pinchurchin. Yep, see, knockoff. Oh, over on my Pinchurchin. You little biscuit. Little biscuit. You little buttery biscuit. Knock off my life for Rin. Take me out. Urshfu, it's your turn to shine. Okay, so we have Urshifu out there, which he's on 1 HP. And then we got these guys, right? He's either protecting or taking big damage, so... What do I die? Like, what do I go into? I have to. I think close combat would be my best bet. I do some big damage over on these Pokemon. Cause I'm gonna choice ban into a stab move. That's. I should have went the certain strikes. I should have went the certain strikes, man. I just, <laughs> I just mocked up bad. I just messed up really, really bad. But I'll take that. Fly comes out. You. Want some nice damage? I should have did into certain strikes. Would have been better, but still. Close combat's gonna be able to do some big old damage. Check out that Indeedy just like that. And he's coming in. He's gonna take me out. He is going to take me out. Like, that's a fact. That is a fact here. Oh, no. He goes for a knockoff. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. But I do outspeed both of him. And he triggered my policy, man. You triggered my policy. I'm definitely flying over to that Rillaboom. 
And do I take out the Urshfu? Or do I Phantom Force with Stab? I think a Fly would be better. But still, close combat worked. I should have went into Surge Strikes. I do know. I do realize that now. Because of the rain and all that good stuff. But nobody has a first turn priority. Move. I know that for a fact. Hmm. Definitely close combat just to take you out. And I think Fly would definitely take that out, right? I think Fly definitely takes you out. So I'm just going to go into a Fly. He cannot Grass God. He has no first turns. Should be fine. We should be fine here. We should be fine. And I am plus two. That just uh that just did my thing. That just answered my question. So weakness policy does not it gets triggered, it doesn't get knocked off. Plus combat comes out here. Urshfu, get out of my face. This guy definitely should have seen me flying again, and he's probably gonna go into like a wood hammer or something and take me out. But I seriously do think Fly is just going to dump on it and call it a game. Oh, this one's a close one. It's coming down. It's coming down. We do outspeed all day. Is this thing like choice into a knockoff? And he missed. He missed. In my face. That's definitely game. Beautiful. GG 2-0, baby. 2-0 with a Alolan Raichu squad. I knew Urshfu was going to be uh, a nice nice Pokemon to actually bring in here. And this is uh, another reason why I was thinking of not going into certain strikes. was because if the Robum stays live later, it would actually... Uh, Certain strikes would be poo poo. But Fly comes out with that plus two on that attack board from the weakness policy and picks us up our second W. Let's get it, guys. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Try to have a per perfect record with this Alolan Raichu squad. Come on, dude. What are you doing? Just a typical Sun team right here. At least use Executor in it. Like, you know what I'm saying, guys? This guy's going up against me in the third and final battle he has a typical sun team with nine tails venusaur and charizard we've seen that plenty of times with that torkoal as well but he does have dreadnought and cloister on it which is pretty cool which is which isn't bad but i feel like again the surge is just going to be big here we'll take speed advantage early on um and i don't think uh raichu or not raichu i don't think venusaur would outspeed raichu i don't think anybody would outspeed raichu in the surge and he doesn't have anybody to actually change up the surge so that can actually be in our big old benefit all game um, we go with them too, obviously, for the start. Um, I could bring Volcarona as well, as it could be fine in the heat and do some work up against, uh, up against a lot of these Pokemon with this moveset. Yeah, let's go Volcarona here. And then in the final spot, Pol or Urshifu. It's Pol or Urshifu. I haven't really found a good good spot for this Indeedee in this, uh, with this team, but Indeedee is obviously good. It can always uh, neglect uh, moves, go with follow me, set up late chains, all that good stuff. Um, but I gotta make a decision whether to go Urshfu or Dragapult. Hmm. Hmm. I think Urshfu's gonna come in here. I think we're gonna go Urshfu. Urshfu has just been so strong, especially with that Choice Ban. I could Choice Ban into a Surgeon Strikes if I really want to. If I really want to, if the, if the Sun's not there. I could set the rain with Raichu as well. But like I said, one thing I would change with this team would probably be give a low on Raichu life for instead of the Choice Specs. Because I like Dynamax and him way more considering us a speed advantage. All that good stuff. I guess, like, if, if there's a trick room, then you give it to uh, Pin Church. But there's no trick room rolling out on this squad. It goes Torkoal and Venusaur, obviously. We're going to set the surge, and we're going to take our advantage. Uh, Torkoal is obviously going to go for an eruption. I think Pin Church might be slower than Torkoal. That's a little scary. But he's probably going to put me to sleep. Hmm. An eruption? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I think I do damage over to that Twirkle, and he might put me to sleep here. Does sleep out of work in this terrain? It actually might. I don't think it works in this terrain. I think it might cancel it out. So I'm going to go for a rising voltage over on. I don't want to double up into that Twirkle, to be honest. But I'm going to do some damage over on the Venusaur. I could go for an expanding force. <laughs> it could be big. But I'm definitely going to Dynamax out. And go for a Lightning. Just a lightning over on Torkoal, because I don't want to change that terrain and have Venusaur just take full full speed advantage. But we're going to Dynamax. I think he might Dynamax that Venusaur as well. Cool, fill it up. But dude, Raichu is so fast in the surge, because he's, what was he, 160-something? And then he doubles his speed. He's like, bruh, this thing is a quick little cookie right here. And he looks phenomenal when he's doing it. 272 HP. Absolute monster. See Dynamax as well. He's not. Max Light needs to come out here first. I'm only doing this to neglect eruption damage. And we bring it all the way down there. So let's see what he does. He goes for an EP. That's fine. We eat up just dandy. Just fine. No stab damage coming out from him. Fire Blast coming out. Oh, and Raichu dodges it. That's huge. That is huge. Rising Voltage comes out. Get it, Pinchurchin. Doing some damage over on you. Oh my god. Pinchurchin, knock it off, please. Pinchurchin, please. I beg of you. Um, Next plan, I'm thinking of uh, setting the rain here. 
I think we could take out with a. I'm gonna double up into this uh this torque just in case. But I am going to uh, set this rain. I don't want this heat going on here. I really do not want the heat going out here. So hopefully this guy's can take out, but just in case we're gonna send the rising voltage over to that right side. Well, I'll take out the torque, I'll take him out. Yes, sir. Let's get it. So no more heat. He is gone. Get it out of my face. We got rain rolling. Uh, what's going to go down here, Venusaur? No problem. So we're going to go two for one, dude. This team, bro. Just stop. Just stop. This team's too good. Earth power. That's a tasty snack you got there. Raichu eats up all day. No one's out speeding this thing. He is minusing our special defense, though. Which is which is not. I'm not a fan. Buys the voltage. Yeah, uh, yeet. Base 140 in the surge. And Venusaur gone. Just like that. We got rid of Venusaur. And Torkoal rocking out there. Critical hit. We didn't even need it. We didn't even need it. It was all good. Monsters right here. We got monsters out on the field. Okay, so probably Charizard. I think he's going to Dynamax Charizard, in my opinion. Max guard him. Knowing that my boy is fast. Knowing that my boy is just speedy. Bringing Charizard. Oh, he's going to set the Drought again. Oh. Bringing double Drought users. Bringing double Drought users. You little biscuit. Unless this thing's not Drought. It is Drought. It's obviously Drought. Um, I think I go Rising Voltage over on the Charizard, and I do some work over on that Ninetales. Because I obviously Charizard is Dynamaxing. Hmm. Do I set the rain? I think that will help us out in the long run. What do we have in back? Urshifu. Then they can't really do anything big stab. Yeah, let's, let's change the weather up. Let's change the weather up here. Really don't want it going on here. He does not go for the, uh, the Dynamax. He does not Dynamax or Protect or anything. But weather change is huge. Weather change is huge. I think he wants to go into uh, double hitting moves. I think that was his uh, whole plan going to maybe double heat waves. And I think Pinchurchin could totally eat up now. Oh, Flamethrower's gonna pop off here. Raichu's down. That's cool. Raichu used all three of his Dynamax turns. Use them perfectly. My dude Raichu coming up big. Gonna start off strong. And I think Charizard's gonna go down here. Hands down, Charizard goes down here. Flamethrower comes out here. Charizard's dead. 140 base, stab, life orb. Charizard. Bye, buddy. Pinchurch and says, sorry. Yay. <laughs> Charizard out of here. Go on, get good, kid. And now it just comes out of this. I can bring out Urshifu. I brought Urshifu, right? I brought Volcarona and Urshifu, right? Yep, Urshifu comes out of here. Two expand surgeon strikes. GG, baby. 3-0 with this team, dude. Rocked out pretty strong. I feel like I've been getting better and better with the new Pokemon as the season uh, comes along. Or better and better with the meta more so, I should say. But actually, I'd rather go for a Rising Voltage would be way better. Than the skull, but certain strikes gonna come out first. Choice ban, triple crit, triple in the rain, triple stab. Like, we're just, it's just deadly. It's game over. It's game over. 3 0, oh, dude. Oh my god, that last battle was phenomenal. Just dumped on this fool real quick with that little Raichu. He's really gonna Dynamax. He's really gonna Dynamax. But that was actually a huge part. Like I said, I was uh, thinking about that in the beginning. Like, what's Surf really going to uh, help us out? But it's a good weather changer. It's a good weather changer for him. So that worked out awesome, especially up against this heat team. He had two drought mods, which we just countered right off the bat. We countered so hard. I think certain strikes should go first. Yeah, you're dead. You're gone. Get him out of here. Oh my god, that was one of them. That was one of them. It's guaranteed three. You're gone. You weren't surviving full health and a berry. You could have had full health and a berry, and you weren't surviving. Get out of here. GG. 3-0 with this team. Absolutely dominated. I think Alolan Raichu has been one of my new favorite Pokemon that i played with. It's just so much fun. And that uh, Surf or the Surge Surfing is a very great new ability. Ladies and gentlemen, do yourselves a favor right now. Rent this team. Rent this team right now. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I just ripped off with it. 3-0. I loved everything about it. It was so, so good. So good. The only thing that, like I said, I said this like twice already. Give Raichu that life orb. Give it that life orb. It can be so much better because I feel like he's just a better Dynamax Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.